Hello, I'm Jim Vellian. I'm one of the administrators of Portland, Oregon, Blender PDX. We are honored to be a part of the first annual World Blender Meetup Day. We have our group here. Uh, we'll see about having an introduction going on. We want to thank uh, all the people who have put in efforts to do the World Blender Meetup Day uh, from uh, from all around the world, especially Sterling and JT and his LA Blend dot Blend group. About our group, we are a lot a lot of uh, creative and talented people that have uh, no mastery of Blender, P uh, Blender uh, computer graphics at all, unfortunately. So we're all struggling together to help each other out. We finally got together for the first time through Blender Meetup on October 2012. Uh, that was that'll be two years exactly, starting uh, this October. Um, one of the highlights that we had was uh, Nathan Vegdahl from uh, Sintel and I'm told uh, Rigify fame. Here's his uh, website right there. That was a, a pleasant surprise. And seeing that it's a four-hour drive from Seattle where he's located, we didn't uh, have him showing up. Um, ever since then, but we were still honored to have that presence. Myself, my name Javelian, that's hard for people to get a grip on, so anybody has a problem saying my name, don't worry about it, ask me again to repeat it. Um, I'm doing this just for a hobby and in the long term, hopefully uh, uh, doing a uh, strategy game, uh, with a lot of computer graphics, but not like the tactical first-person shooter games that everybody else seems to do. Um, so uh, it would be hard to go into depth on that, but uh, would we like to have uh, just a brief intro? Nathan. Hey. So Javelin gave us a, all a, the group a good introduction. Um, I was I'm Nate Sullivan, one of the original uh, people that started the Blender PDX group here, and I'm working on a current anime-inspired uh, production called Little Red Cap. So I'll be talking about that a little bit later. And uh, my use of Blender is as motion graphics, so it's kind of a substitute or in addition to. After Effects, as well as so using it in video productions for commercials, and uh, you know whenever I, there's a possibility to use it, and I will go ahead and turn this over. What to about you. your uh, business? Is that what we're um, talking about? Yeah, it's no, <laughs> I'm, I'm a motion yeah. graphics artist. That's that's what it's about. Um, hope to be able to share the little red cap in a little bit um, with everyone. Oh. Say who you are. Tell us about your COBOL experience. Tell us that you've been at every meeting except maybe two. <laughs> Where's the camera? Oh, the camera's right over here. Okay. Hi, my name is Paul Coons, and also known as UP Retirement Man. I was in the... Um, Worked for the railroad all my life and retired now. Oh, I can see it. Thank you. Uh, I have. Uh, I went to two different computer schools in San Francisco Bay Area. Graduated from both of those. I worked. Uh, worked a job for two years as a computer programmer and an analyst. Six programs for the uh, San Jose. Uh, uh, telephone company. Uh, I'm a Mac person, so Windows stuff doesn't work too good. Did you uh, mention COBOL programming? Yeah, I went, well, I, way before that. Uh, well, I, I started out on the card programs for uh, IBM punch card systems and 
Cobol is with the school for co Cobol language. Um, now I'm trying to learn uh, Python mostly and Blender and and um, imports and exports on a file system called .smf for uh, games and things. Uh, the latest pro little program is to install wheels on a vehicle at their proper places from a file that comes with the game. Okay, okay. thank you, Paul. Anybody else want to come up and... Yeah, please. Yeah, bring the camera. Uh, where's the camera at? The camera's right here. Oi. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Kirchhoff. I know nothing about Blender. I've been trying, but since I'm working on Ubuntu, I'm going to switch to Mint here pretty quick. It's always fun. <laughs> Just, I don't need to make more new brain cells. If anybody has experience with Ubuntu, I'd sure love to hear from them. And thank you. Yeah, apparently. Hello, my name is Eugene, and I'm just getting started with Blender. And I'm trying to figure out a way to integrate music with my Blender video. So uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody else? No? Right. You, don't, you don't have to if you don't want to. So is this on there? But it, it, you're part of the world. Or? This is the, the world. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't feel, <laughs> don't, don't feel <laughs> intimidated. <laughs> The world and it's being recorded for posterity. So you are now part of Blender User Group. My name is My name's Tom Lechner. My first time coming to a Blender meetup of any kind. I'm a cartoonist. I made cartoons for a long time. I'm in the process of animating one of my cartoons with Blender. I recently made a Asteroids 3D video game with Blender. Uh, just dabbling experiments here and there. Uh, we need to see what other people are doing around town. How much experience did you say you had in Blender? Uh, not a lot. Maybe I've been dabbling, like just dabbling experiments for years, but nothing okay. really serious. Okay. Over the last month, I've been trying to like dedicated sit down and learn stuff. That, don't that's, panic. Where, that's the FBI. Yeah, <laughs> that's the NSA breaking in on us. Hi, I'm Jason. I've been using Blender, been personal projects for, I don't know, like three or four years now. I work, do, the uh, try that sentence again. For my regular nine to five job, I work doing uh, 3D renderings for a local company. I mostly use Maya throughout the day, unfortunately. <laughs> but I still use Blender at home because that's, that's what I learned first and I stick to using it. Um, I run around Blender artists a lot. I go by Jay the Ninja. If you see me there, yell at me. Then yeah. I'm leaving now. Thank you. That is, uh, that is our group that's present at this time. I would like to also mention honorably um, Will Woodhull, along with uh, Nate uh, Sullivan, is our, uh, our website developers for uh, BlenderPDX.org. <clears throat> um, we did have some great support and activity from uh, Philip Modine, who uh, is now not active in our group, only because he's become a professional student in the graphic arts right here at Portland Art Institute. Same with uh, William Shaver, was our computer technical expert extraordinaire. He has also enrolled at uh, Portland Art Institute here for graphics, uh, computer graphics uh, degree of some kind. I'm not sure what. Um, and I, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Am I missing anybody that is not here that we should mention honorably? Uh, 
if something comes to mind, I will definitely bring it up. But uh, as everybody can see out there in the world, our group is very, very unprofessional, if I can use that word, in, in Blender. We are all struggling to learn a Blender through each other's experiences and, and problems. And we are definitely uh, needing each other for a support group. And uh, this uh, whole World Blender Meetup Day, we're hoping uh, will be a support group for support groups. Which is uh, why I'd like to thank again Sterling for what a, a wonderful uh, vision on this World Blender Meetup Day. Um, that is 415, right on the dot. How did I do that? Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, I skipped out the whole what. We just did the intro. Mm -hmm. We will take up some time with uh, Mattachine Social. We had uh, somebody contact our group by the name of Pat Chesnick, who uh, heard about our group. And he is a producer of uh, music videos, if not other uh, uh, works. He had someone on his uh, staff working with Blender to produce uh, assets for VFX to be worked into uh, live uh, footage for a music video for a group called Mattachine Social. And uh, the uh, Blender artist bailed out on him, and he was desperate and behind uh, their schedule for their uh, professional work and found us as a group. And we told him that, well, you know, we don't have uh, all the experience that we'd like to bring to bear, but we're free and worth every penny of it. <laughs> so... Uh, he uh, found that to be uh, a spark of, uh, of incredible hope, and we jumped in, and we started a pipeline, and he organized us and guided us, and some of us worked on uh, assets, and Nate was working on green screen, um, and uh, we tried. We were doing some progress, I thought, until... Uh, the group, the ma the band members started to get uh, uh, overly anxious, and they were way behind schedule anyway, so they may have been rightly so, and uh, there was just no way we could uh, meet their time schedule and do anything productive. And uh, that was pretty much the last we heard of, of Pat Chesnick and his uh, Mattachine social video, unfortunately. So if anybody out there hears anything about Mattachine Social and their music video, you could say, hey, that's the group that would have been famous if it wasn't for uh, the help of uh, Blender PDX. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can't bring up some stuff from Mattachine Social, just as examples. This is just the stuff that I worked on that I have on my computer. I did a basic door that was going to be worked in there. Oh, it's slowing down. Here we go. Um, and you can see this was green screening, but I did some uh, I did some 3D assets so that that door could be played with in uh, VFX. Let's see if I can find that folder or that file. This is without all the uh, all the materials, which I didn't do very good job on materials because I don't have a whole lot of experience on that. Um, let's see here, cycles materials. I don't think the cycles is going to show up. We did not. We decided we were going to do it in Blender internal render, right, uh, Nate? We did the stuff in Blender internal because we didn't know cycles well enough. Yeah, but I try to cycles on that. Let's see what the eye was. Oh, no. Something else. Do 
the heart is one of the pieces that I did some reworking on. The, the main geometry was already there from the uh, blender artist that Pat had before he discovered our group. And uh, let's see, I've got some, uh, some material set up to that. Let's see what the render looks like. <clears throat> I think I made a render of this. Let's see if I saved a render image. Door, door. No. Did not. Come on. Boy, the computer's slowing down here. Got too many things running on my poor laptop. Anyway, here's the render popping up of that for uh, for this heart pump that is going to that was going to be on a patient on a on an operating table in the video. So what I have done with that. Don't want to show too much anyway for fear of uh, possibly doing uh, copyright infringements because they were uh, they were uh, apprehensive about that. They, these guys were as professional as they were trying to be. I'm sorry we couldn't do more with them. I wish they would have had uh, the time schedule for us to uh, to work with them on that. But that was one of our claims to fame there. Let's see here. So, Dane, can you hear us? Well, if you can hear us, we can't hear you. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I'm wondering how we can get you to, to broadcast it. Did you? Oh, um, BPDX uh, logo uh, for everybody out there. We uh, had a lot of uh, interactive input trying to come up with our, uh, our own group's logo. Uh, let's see here. I'm not going to show it in Blender. Let's uh, pull it up here. That's our logo for the group. Um, basically, uh, the, the, we call it the Blender Splash. That represents uh, the, the wet Northwest Oregon, Washington Territory being kicked up by the uh, motivation and inspiration of Blender itself. And it's kicking us up high with inspiration. So uh, that took us uh, quite a while of uh, many people's input and many strugglings in Blender, even as a model, <laughs> even modeling. So, uh, and we're working on a, a mascot program, which I don't have a mascot project, which I don't have any uh, samples of. Right now, it's a uh, it's a duckbill platypus that goes with the water. And Alex um, Fontana, who is one of our members, and I, did, I didn't do Alex Fontana's intro, did I? I knew I was missing somebody. Alex Fontana has been a very active member in our group. He's not here today because he is moving homes, moving from one location to another, unfortunately. But he is a very active, very prolific uh, artist. And I can show one thing that he's been doing. He is an author of Pitot, Voice of Portland, and that you could buy on Amazon.com. He is a professional author. So uh, thanks to uh, Alex Fontana for being a part of uh, our group here. And still, we're all struggling to learn Blender so for anybody else out there, just realize you too can be a, a user group for Blender. 
if there isn't one Nick near you to join in, start one on your own with your, with your blender friends or get on uh, meetup.com and, and uh, post your, uh, your desires to form a group uh, through blendernation.com. That's how uh, our meetup got started. When I found that starting up, I jumped in. Anybody can do it. If we can, you can. That's the one inspiration point that I'd like to carry out over to the world.